Hey guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University, and Blackbird, issue number five. Holy crap. That is what I've got to say about this comic book. Damn, this might just be one of the best damn comic books that I've read in forever. All right, and it's not just about this issue. You got to combine everything, and it's going to end next issue. And I'm already positive that issue number six is going to make for one of the best trade paperbacks ever. Oh, I'm buying the trade paperback. I know, I got all the floppies. Don't care. Get the trade paperback too. It's like that. I need that ready access. Okay, that's real talk, dude. That's how damn good this comic book is. All right. Let's talk about who made this comic book so they get the proper praise that they deserve. Uh, writer Sam Humphreys, artist Jen Bartell, layout artist Paul Reinwand, colors Triona Farrell, letters Jody Wynn, um, designer Dylan Todd, main cover Jen Bartell, and uh, Jenny Frisson does a variant cover. Dude, dude, let me just tell you something. This is a damn beautiful, awesome, freaking epic comic book. I gotta look up something really quick. I gotta look up something really quick on my computer. Black... Bird number five review. That's right. That's right, punks. That's what I'm. You know what I'm doing right here. Let me, let me take a quick look at who's doing here. All right, I'm gonna give a little. Uh, I don't see a whole bunch of stuff up on here. Let me see. I, I see somebody's doing Blackbird number one, the preview. Why am I doing this? Why, Professor Bell? Why are you doing this? Why are you looking up to see if other people are are doing the reviews of this comic book? Because I'm mad. Man, I'm mad at some people right now. I'm angry because I don't see anybody else doing. Let me let me let me let me let me type this in a little bit better. Comic book review. Okay. Oh, I see somebody did issue number one. Another person did issue number one. Whole bunch of people did issue number one. Ain't nobody doing the other issues. Ain't nobody doing the other. Oh, here comes somebody that did issue number two. But I got I, I put in issue number five. Where's the people doing issue number five? Where are the people who keep on reviewing this stuff? Because I don't see it. I don't see it. I don't see anybody do. Maybe they're doing this and a whole bunch of other books also. Look, let me tell you something right now. I'm going to tell you something right now. You know what I'm going to tell you? The, the comic book review industry is a failure. It's a flop. It's a flop. And Professor Bill is the only one doing it the right way. That's right. That's right. I'm going to tell you that right now. Everybody else sucks and I am awesome. You know why? Because I am reviewing Blackbird edition number five. You're welcome. <laughs> Professor, what are, you, what are you saying you're welcome for? Look, we find out everything that we need to know in this issue. And holy crap, if you don't flip your lid, you're reading it the wrong way. Okay? Turn it upside down because you got it upside down. Turn, turn it the other way. Read it the right way. Dude, Nina's mom is pissed for obvious reasons. Go check out issue number four. Uh, Nina's sister shows up. And she's like, I'm going to go and have a conversation with my sister. And she goes down there's like, I'm going to whoop your way. Yeah, and she's talking all sorts of trash. It's like, nobody's going to listen to you like that. You got all this magic. You got no people skills. You got zero people skills. Damn it. Shut your mouth. Know your role. Go go back to freaking reform school or something like that because you don't know how to talk to people. You suck. So <laughs> she, she goes and gets into a freaking fist fight. Well, a magical fist fight with her sister. Nina straight up whoops her ass. We almost think that her sister's dead. <laughs> hey, goodbye, good riddance, girl. Um, she runs away and she meets up with Clint, okay? Her, her boyfriend, who it turns out has a really messed up face. How do we find out he's got a messed up face? Because he shows her the truth. Now, apparently, when you show somebody the truth, all of a sudden, you get to see everything. She's essentially got the ability to do uh, the, the Dungeons and Dragons spell True Sight. Anybody remember that one? Oh, it's a good one. See through illusions, see through spells, see through magical walls, see through psh, whatever. You can see when people are lying. You can see when people are lying. It's like a magic uh, magic lasso telling you the truth. You know what I'm saying? For anybody who doesn't know that, this is a Wonder Woman reference. There might be some noobs, and, and God bless you if you're a comic book noob, and this is like one of the first comic books you're reading. That's all good, brother. It's all good. We all got to start someplace. Just, you know, comic book 101. Superman flies for no apparent reason. Batman has some serious mental scarring issues. Uh, Spider-Man's best days were when he was a kid, and um, Wonder Woman has a magical lasso that makes people tell the truth. Yeah. Uh... Aside from that, welcome to the family, son. <laughs> welcome. <laughs> but I mean, like, dude, this comic book is just so straight badass. Holy crap. We get to, the cat finally gets a spell taken away from him that, um, that, lets you, that, that, that allows him to tell the truth at this point. And oh, the truths this cat has got to tell. Damn. <laughs> so somebody's in trouble. Oh, somebody is in trouble. <laughs> um, we find out more about the mom and we find out we find out a whole bunch of things. One of the things we find out is that um, uh, what it takes to become a paragon is an initiation that makes it so you got to die and basically come back from the, re uh, the, 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 the ashes. you got to be resurrected. Oh, my Lord, sweet Jesus. Quite literally. Um, that is awesome. 
And then the end, somewhat related, we find out an ultimate truth, and Nina finds out an ultimate truth about herself. Why she's able to cast all these magical spells, but she sucks at them. And that's pretty much directly from the comic book. Bruh. Bruh. The imagination that it took to come up with this story, I am freaking envious. All right? This is a, like, this is the stuff that I want to do. This is the kind of, like, you know, I, I love magic. I've studied magic and theory and practice. There's a good reference there for you. Um, I, I've studied the, the, the ways of magic with and without a K. All right. I love the concepts of it. You know, the theosophist, uh, 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 mindset and things like that. Oh, this is like, this is the kind of stuff that I want to write. Okay. And I've got my own things I want to write, but this, this is something entirely different where I'm like, oh yeah, I'd like to have written this, but I don't know, man, this took some serious imagination oh, damn, this is good. And all I'm saying is, like, I just got finished watching uh, the first two episodes of Umbrella Academy uh, about an hour ago with my wife. Just just, just finished it. You know what I'm saying? About to sit down and watch some um, some delayed freaking uh, uh, elimination chamber. Um, gonna have to, like, rewind a little bit because I don't want to watch it. But, but, like, I already read the comic book and I just want to do the preview before the freaking thing comes on. The pre-show is on right now. And I want to watch the pre-show. My point is, my point is, this is freaking professional, excellent, beyond, like, like, you ever hear the term above and beyond? You know what I'm saying? That's what this is. Somebody's like, I'd like you to write me a comic book. You're like, oh yeah, I'm gonna write you a comic book, all right. And you just, you get slapped with this and you don't know where it came from. Like, who thinks this stuff up? Okay, I already talked about who, who made it up in, in the beginning. But look, real talk, man. The idea that more people aren't talking about this comic book baffles me. That I don't see more people, I didn't look at, you know, regular written reviews, because I just don't look at written reviews, I don't look at any of that stuff, I'm just not interested, alright? Excuse me, they got their style, I got my style, I don't want their stuff rubbing off on me, alright? I got my own original, you know, thing going on, alright? But I am clearly the greatest YouTuber in regards to comic book reviews ever. Ever. Why? Because I'm reviewing this comic book. I am putting the word out that this is out. And literally, like, this is one of the reasons why I enjoy having a YouTube channel where I can talk about comic books. Because I want comic book lore to get out. I want more people to be aware of this incredible medium. I want more people to, to get used to the idea of this, just, just this entire genre and what we have to offer each other. This is an amazing story that, much like Umbrella Academy... 100% deserves to be made into a television series or a movie or I don't care just freaking put it to film because more people need to see stuff like this you know what I'm saying like I didn't I didn't read Umbrella Academy I know I'm an effing noob all freaking noobs I was just educating they're just like not so smart now professor are we um yeah shut up look <laughs> This comic book needs as much popularity and love and shares as possible. It's not about sharing my video, all right? It's about you go out. Sharing my video would be the freaking easy way out. No, I want you to go out and buy this comic book. I want you to read the damn comic book. I want you to fall in love with this entire series. And then I want you to tweet just all on your own, this is a great comic book, Blackbird. You should be reading the series. You're a comic book noob if you don't. By the way, Wonder Woman's magic lasso makes people tell the truth. I'm just saying, because that's what this is. That's what I'm reading. That's what you should be reading. This is excellent. And real talk, man, even my friends out there, shame on you for not reviewing this comic book. You don't know what you're missing. You don't know what you're missing. All right. And if you read issue number one, and you're not reading the other ones, something like that, shame on you. Okay. Behooves thee to freaking read this. This right here, guys, is going down as one of the greats. The only thing that's ever going to prevent that is the lack of information, the, the, the lack of people actually sharing and putting the word out. Can't nobody afford to make a, a billboard about this comic book, but this deserves to be in everybody's library. The floppies and or and the um, the trade paperback, because that's how amazing the series is right now. I The next issue is going to conclude it. I'm going to be, it's going to be a bittersweet ending for me. Like, oh, this is going to be awesome. At the same time, fuck, I'm not going to see it next month, man. Well, you know, after next month, shut up. Okay. I'm very disappointed that this is going to end. 
<laughs> but at the same time, like if, if, if six issues is a story that they've got to tell, I'm down for the six issues. This is a beautiful, amazing story. More people need to be on this. Get the word out. That's real talk. All right, guys. Professor Bill, Comic Book University. Class dismissed.